Bitcoin has seen a clear rejection from the $73,000 target zone that we had based off of Elliott Wave Count with the Fibonacci extension targets. After hitting that large target, we can see a clear shift with lower highs being printed on the chart, trading back down below the old all-time high from November 2021 at $69,000. Okay, this is that printing, that very big failed auction, which is a bearish setup, which actually could lead to much lower prices to come. So I hope that I make that clear, but what I really want to emphasize in this video to you all right now, even with those bearish signs, these lower highs, the clear rejection of 73k, I am in no short trades at all. I hold no short trades at all on Bitcoin and I am absolutely in all of my long trades. I've already made this clear to the champions, now I'm going to make it clear to you why this is. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, you learn a lot from it, and you manage to secure those bags of profits alongside me as we progress through the week, coming up to the end of the month. And I really feel this is going to be a crucial few weeks for Bitcoin. It truly is. So get yourself strapped in and uh, enjoy this video. So yeah, absolutely. We need to really emphasize what's going on here with the market structure, with the overall context of Bitcoin. We've clearly seen a very large, again, this is a 17% drop to the downside from the rejection up here to the low, you know, nearly 18% pullback. So this is a major rejection, okay? And it's not from a small level, right? It is from that big Fibonacci and conjunction with Elliott Wave target of this zone of around 73 to 75 thousand dollars. We've currently seen that pullback with clearly low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and currently printing a little bit of an internal triangle once again. There's just triangles upon triangles going on right now. And that is signified by, yes, these lower highs. But what we're also building at the lows, right, is higher lows right now. So this is really constricting price action. It's getting smaller and smaller and more drawn in together. And this is lining up for me of what I class as a really golden trade. And this is something I have remained very patient for. And, you know, this is what I teach. And this is what I preach every single time I go on a video. It's so important to remain patient What for, for these golden high probability trade setups. And I want to emphasize this, what I wrote to you on Twitter this week. And that is, I have taken zero trades on Bitcoin this week, which is of course now last week, okay? We are using the patience to wait for a high probability trade setup and it will come. What I want to emphasize is this part here, and that is during this bull market, okay, we are undeniably in a bull market. We've risen from $15,000 to here we are at, at basically at new all-time highs, right? We've got to $73,000. So this is a bull market. And what happens is during that bull market, it's fairly easy to make profits when you're on the right side of the market, right? Long and chill, like we have been for the whole of this year. But what happens is then we reach these areas of consolidation, which is going on right now, which is tradable, but a lot of people will over trade this consolidation. <clears throat> so you really have to be remaining patient for really good setups. Otherwise you will, I know it, you will find yourself taking bad trades that are forced where you should be waiting for very strong, high probability levels. But because you are bored, because you are addicted to really just being in a trade and seeing that PL move, you will start to take bad trades that you really shouldn't be taking. And it all comes down to a lack of patience, a lack, a lack of discipline, right? Once you have controlled that and you're on top of that emotion, you start to really have your plan set out, which I have and I'm, of course, going to share with you. And then you will wait patiently <laughs> for that setup to come to you, right? We are the casino. We are the market makers. We wait for our setups. We're not going to be out here taking poor setups out of board. And we are going to be waiting for the best. And there will be no surprise when profit comes off of the back of that, right? So last week, I took no trades at all on Bitcoin. No trades at all. I am not sad about that. I am not uh, upset in any way, shape or form. I am content with that. I have confidence in my plan. And that is why I remain in no short trades at all. No short trades. I am in my longs and I am looking for higher. So bringing it back to the charts then, where am I looking for next? 
Well, you can see, and this is something that I really, I think you're gonna love this video. Um, this is something that I find very important because if you look here, right, we have two daily levels above us. Wow, how close were we to the daily on this candle? Right on London Open. But of course, you might get people thinking, okay, where is the best trade setup? Well, you might be thinking to yourself this, look at this, you got a swing failure pattern here, potential, on taking out this daily. The same here on this daily, right? So you have a few, you could say, short trade setups off of these dailies. And although, yes, you can get a reaction there, I am not going to short those daily levels. And this is where it comes down to, you know, there are a lot of levels on the chart. You're going to have a lot of naked pointed controls. You're going to have a lot of daily, weekly, monthly levels. And you really have to understand the context of the market to build up a strong picture and plan to decide which levels do you want to trade and which levels do you actually want to almost ignore and not be looking to trade them. And for me, I have used an informed decision to make myself aware that I am not going to be shorting these dailies. Why? Because I believe price is going to be drawn up towards the weekly. So these are levels but I am not going to be trading them. And that is what I think is a very key tool that you are in trading, sometimes going to have too many levels, period. You're going to have too many things marked on your chart. First of all, you need to start to understand the object tree and grouping them into folders and hiding what is not relevant at that moment in time. But then second of all, you're going to need to, you know, bring it a little step further and be able to decipher, okay, which levels, which are important, okay, do I want to leave and not trade? <clears throat> excuse me, and which levels do I actually want to have marked out, but, you know, actually go on to trade. And so for me, these dailies can be marked out. They are very low term time frame trader levels. But for me, I, of course, I am more of a swing trader. I'm not going to be trading this daily. I am not going to be trading this daily, but I am looking up towards the weekly next. Okay. And during this period of time, I am in once again, no short trades, only in longs. So I've, I've made this very clear. And in my last video, I put it out there, right? I'm being so honest and transparent with you all. We are undeniably seeing a series of lower highs. Absolutely. I could totally miss this trade, which a lot of people would be very sad about because <laughs> they're, they're following along, right? And so if price is to just fall down here, it will fall down without me. I will miss this golden opportunity because I was sticking to my plan. Will my plan miss out? Will I miss this trade? Well, time will tell and you will be able to know 100% whether I missed it or whether I got it. Why? Because I'm going to upload this video, right? <laughs> and so, yeah, I am not looking for these lower highs to play out and a drop, but next I am looking for a rise, breaking through these lower highs and actually going up to at least the weekly level, right? Because this weekly here for me is key. Do we reclaim and look for all time highs or do we actually get the rejection off of the weekly old all time high around 69,200? So this is a bit of a zone. You can give it, you know, half a, you know, half a, half a thousand either side. And so, yeah, a little bit of a zone of this weekly to the upside, no long, no below. But, you know, that's what I'm looking for next. Do we get a rejection candle here? And again, this is where we flip over to the order flow. This is where we're looking at the volume, the delta, the trade counts, the rect candles, okay? And we're making an informed decision with the open interest with that to decide, okay, is this a strong breakout of this triangle? Because we do have a little bit of a lower term time frame triangle forming here, right? So do we actually get a legit breakout with open interest increases, strong positive delta, low trade counts to signify to us, okay, this is big, large traders, institutions buying up the Bitcoin, and we can expect this to go up to all-time high. Or do we get a weak breakout? And that, again, we use the order flow. We'll see the visual reaction. We start to look then potentially for trap traders above the high, right? And that is where it's, it's fairly advanced, right? You have to be able to decipher what is that strong breakout, which then turns to weakness, because this is another complexity of, of trading. It's not black and white. It's not easy. And I will never tell you it's easy. It does take time to learn. But once you have learned and you've studied hard and you've got then the experience of taking these trades, it then reaches a level of, uh, of, a, of a, a, a much easier way of thinking, right? Because I'm not thinking in the time, oh, is this strong as this week? No, I just look at the order flow and I know. Okay, I just know through 
look at doing this for over a decade, doing it every single day, right? I just know. And so I'll make that informed decision if and when we hit that weekly. Again, I could be wrong and we fall down prior to hitting the weekly. And if that's the case, I will lose a lot. So I am looking for this rise. I am looking for my plan and analysis and prediction to play out that we will make it to at least this weekly. From there, absolutely key what goes on next. Do we get the rejection candle for the short or do we get a reclaim for the move on to all-time high? Absolutely key what goes on there. The old all-time high, it is the weekly, it is the CC and it is a very important key level for myself of what is going to be happening over as we go into the monthly close. Reclaim, absolutely, let's go to all-time highs. And so when we're looking at levels then to the downside, what is some key support levels? That's what I want to cover next. Before I do that, I want to do a little bit of a positive uh, vibe. And that is that I actually, on Sunday, we were looking at this still, right? We went over live stream 250. So on Sunday, I've done the Champions live stream 250. Of course, the Champions live stream is the one video of the Sunday where we go over the swing trades of Bitcoin. Of course, we have daily live streams happening every day of the week. One live right now with the legend himself, Igor. We have daily live streams, but the champion stream is once a week. Right. And I actually just done the 250 champions live stream. So yes, we've been doing this now for nearly five years and I can hold myself proud. Say I have not missed a single week of trading during this period through sickness and everything else that I've been through over the five years. I've always showed up for you that you cannot deny being here. I've never, ever missed during this period, a single week of trading. I've always been active. I've always been making content. And for me, that that is a, it is a proud achievement. And it really, like Sean says here, like that is a true commitment and really loving what you do. Uh, honestly, thank you for all the, the kind comments. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for me, this this is an achievement and it is just, you know, special to uh, be able to have shared all this time with you. And like I said here, this was the previous five years together. And I'm just looking forward to the next five years together. The commitment's going to be the same. The passion and love for what I do is the same. And it's only actually going to increase and get stronger with time. And so, yeah, I, I, I love what I do. And yeah, here's to 250 weeks together of analyzing the charts every week, not missed anything, and I'm not going to miss the next five either, <laughs> and the next 50 in front of that, right? Um, so yeah, I just think this is a, a nice little achievement unlocked. It feels good. And uh, yeah, I really, really, really hope uh, you are enjoying it as, as much as I enjoy making this content for you. I truly find it special. It is uh, what I wake up for in the mornings. And yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's get back to the charts. So yeah, I've made it clear. Okay, I'm very transparent and honest. Again, I could be wrong here and you will all know that. You'll all be able to say, well, Daniel made a very bad call. It's not happened for a very long time, right? It hasn't. <laughs> so that's the beauty of me being transparent and honest is you will be able to say, no, that's a lie. Um, but you know, I have been very bullish. I have been getting the market right. And now I am looking once more for a rise to take out these lower highs, test the weekly. From there, we'll check the reaction. To the downside, the range low. For me, to the downside, the range low is absolutely key. So for this, we got on our parallel channel. Okay, really simply, we've obviously bounced from here to here off of the A86 Fibonacci. I would be looking in terms of downside of the range low. Okay, if we lose that, then yeah, we can absolutely get more bearish targets. But for me, in this video, I wanted to emphasize the weekly to the, the range high if we reclaim. And to the downside, for me, it's simple. The, the range low is the only level of interest. If we lose that, then yeah, I would be looking for a much bigger drop. But ultimately, trade the range till it breaks. And within the range, we have one key weekly. That is my plan. That is what I have been remaining patient for, for now over a week, taking no trades on Bitcoin. I am waiting for my golden level to be hit. From that, I might not even get the trade, right? If we get a bullish breakthrough the weekly, I simply won't trade it and I'll look for all-time all highs. And then I will simply have to remain very patient indeed once again. I will end with one final question for you all. You all showed me you wanted the live stream. There was a lot of very positive feedback and comments in that last video I made. So I will do a live stream for you this week for sure. All I ask is which day of the week would you like that stream the most? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me know in the comments down below the most upvoted or most commented day I will host a live stream for you where we will analyze in more detail. We'll have you know a good hour together talking through the charts, the analysis, and maybe like last time going through some altcoins. As you all know, I called Pepe on stream for a 40% drop to the downside. It dropped down to our target. 
which hit perfectly. And look at that. That was the weekly rejection, which we were also calling uh, really nice Pepe going long. I will stay on this long for the weekly next. And look at that. Hit the weekly. Bam, into the weekly. <laughs> Have a guess, too many champions taking profits. And we got a, a you know, a, a pullback here of actually uh, 70, well, there you go, exactly the same as Bitcoin, right? 17% pullback to the downside. So uh, I don't know, Bitcoin, of course, was the overall 17%. So there's yeah, more volatility on Pepe, but that's just from the time in the low to currently the high of the weekly. So yeah, maybe we'll cover some more altcoins on stream. Just let me know which day of the week you want that. And I wish you all a very happy week of trading ahead. If you want more guidance from myself in real time, you know, where I'll be posting always first in the champions discord and of course we got live streams going on every day of the week on the website from live trading streams of course we got the whole educational library dedicated altcoin streams and so much more want to wrap it up there say thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed and that is me signing out of this one cheers everybody thank you and have a brilliant week goodbye